This video will show you how to install ZOS version 1.10 on Hercules. As a matter of fact, installing ZOS on Hercules is quite simple. Step by step, you will learn how to get and install the Hercules emulator. How to get and install the WC3270 terminal emulator. How to configure Hercules to run ZOS. How to start Hercules. And finally, how to IPL ZOS, and log on to a, TSO session. So let's start. This section will explain where to get all the necessary pieces. First, the Hercules emulator is available at www.hercules-390.org. Scrolling down the page, you will find the download section. The install package is available in two form a Windows MSI install file or a .zip file. I will download the zip file, it contains a relocatable runtime version of Hercules. Second, X3270, which is an IBM 3270 terminal emulator, is available at x3270.bgp.new slash download.html get the Windows installer X file. Third, you will need to obtain ZOS Application Developers Control Distribution ADCD, image files, and copy them in a local directory on your computer. Be advised that ADCD distribution is copyrighted material. Don't ask, I will not provide those files. You're on your own for that, part. Ok, we now have all the parts. Let's install them. Locate your Hercules zip file package and extract it. Having a quick look into the new extracted folder, you will find a functional Hercules system. I bring your attention to the following files, Hercules.x and Hercules.cnf. I will start the Hercules emulator and switch to graphic mode by pressing the escape key. Notice the devices in the right panel. Close Hercules. Let's now install the WC3270 terminal emulator. Locate the WC3270 install file and run it. Run the session wizard. Enter a session name. For the host name, enter local host. We now have to change the port value. Select item number 3 and type 3270. Enter. Enter again follow by yes, to the create session file question. We have now to move the folder containing the ADCD package under the Hercules folder. The Hercules.cnf file will have to be replaced by the one you got with the ADCD package. In my example, the ADCD folder is named CCKD. Taking a look inside the Hercules.cnf file you will see a section defining 53270 terminal and a section for DASD devices. My devices are defined using relative path because the files are placed under my Hercules folder. We are now ready to start the Hercules emulator and run ZOS. In this order. Start the Hercules emulator. Then start two WC3270 sessions. The first will be the console terminal, and the second, the TSO terminal. It is important to start the 3270 sessions before we IPL ZOS. Back to Hercules, press the escape key to switch to graphic mode. You should see the ZOS image files mounted starting at device 0A81. Finally, press L for IPL followed by F, which is the first mounted ZOS image file. ZOS should start loading. On the console terminal, the following message will be displayed, reply I, to initialize Sysplex, or, R, to reinitialize XCF. Reply by entering, R00, R. Enter. The following message will be displayed. If local mode initialization is desired, reply couple equals star star. Reply by entering, 
a zero zero comma couple equals star star enter after a moment the TSO log on screen should appear on the second 3270 terminal. You can now log on by entering log on I B M user enter. When prompt for the password, type S Y S 1 enter. Press enter again to skip the post log on message screen. You will now be in ISPF primary option menu. Have some fun. That's all for now. I hope you have enjoyed this video.